Uh, spring. So I'm ill. I'm really ill. That's why I didn't record yesterday and that's why I'm not particularly happy about recording today. I'm probably going to be coughing. It's not going to be great, but god damn it, I want to finish this goddamn fucking video game and we are one battle away from doing that, so I'm fucking going for it. <laughs> Let's ride the magical statue elevator into the ridiculously large basement. <laughs> what is what is all this and why? Put the item finder on. Is that gonna, is that gonna find me any treats? Do you think? Nope. Okay. Fair enough. Now I'm really bummed because I really wanted to. I really wanted to get this finished. Um, I wanted to get it done before Christmas, to be honest with you. But uh, you know, things happen. Things things take place. And now here we are. Here we are. It's now December the fifth, and I'm ill and I'm recording. Yeah. Is is all I can say to that. See, neither of these are the pe person who I thought was the champion, and that's really confusing to me. It's over. Never again will Pokemon be made to suffer or held captive by humans. It's all thanks to my friend, Zekrom. You may have the title of champion, but you can't stop me with just a title. Your soft heart has left you weak. Years ago you lost your Pokemon, your partner, to sickness. In order to forget the pain in your heart, you wanted Unova. Who knows how long it's been since you've had to fight with your full strength. I actually kind of like that about you, though. As a trainer who far outmatches the champion, I shall issue an order across Unova. Trainers of the world, every boy, every girl. Trainers of the world, spice up your life and free your Pokemon. I beg you, separating people from Pokemon, do anything but that. You and I both put our beliefs on the line and fought with all our strength, and I won. Do not say another word. I've been waiting. I sensed your presence staring at me. <laughs> In the future, I envisioned you obtained a stone. And indeed you have. The light stone. Zekrom is responding to it. Stop. Hammer time. This is not a suitable place for the legendary dragons. From the ground up? Rise up. In the castle of Team Plasma. Surround the Pokemon League. Ex excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Aren't te Team Plasma like 20 guys in wacky outfits and some, some old men with some like old world Japanese mottos under their belt? Like what, what exactly is... How exactly did... Why exactly... <laughs> Somehow they just, like, built an immensely, not only huge, but, like, really technically complex installation under the ground around what is probably the most securely guarded area in the entirety of the realm. Without anyone noticing. Good on him, I guess. What has just happened is... And appeared as Team Plasma's castle. The king's words will resound from the heights to all below. You must come to the castle as well. Everything will be decided there. Whether Pokemon will be liberated from people or whether Pokemon and people will live together. We will see whose belief is stronger. And our result will change the world. Okay, okay. Wait, Sh Sharon. Sharon, did you just beat the Pokemon League just to, like... What? Come see what was going on. Just to stick your nose in my fucking business again. Mr. Holder, you're a wreck. It's not fitting for the champion. You did well to get this far. Somehow I beat the Pokemon League, but it wasn't easy. It actually wasn't that hard. <laughs> I have to congratulate you. I became stronger because I understood what I want to do. Joe 2, tell him this. Some people grow stronger by being with Pokemon. My Pokemon and I approve. Together we learned and became stronger. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, Sharon, but I am a silent protagonist, so I won't be telling anyone shit. I I lost. I should have been able to demonstrate the bond between me and my Pokemon. That would have shown that brat the worthlessness of his outrageous dreams. Tell him what you really think, Alder, eh? So this 
his convictions were the real thing. Be careful. The ones who changed the world are always the ones who pursued their dreams. Joe 2, I ask this of you. Even if Pokemon and people are separated, nothing will good will come with it. Come, come with it. Come, come, nothing good. Mm, mm. Please let him know that. Again, can't let him know anything. Can I not? There's a... There's very clearly a teleporter there. There's very clearly... Stop talking. There's very clearly a teleporter there, and I don't think I'm allowed to go to it, and that triggers me incessantly, because that implies there's, like, post-game in the Pokemon League, which is unhinged, honestly. <laughs> that is unhinged game design. Very cool, honestly, that there's there's clearly a bit more going on than just you beat the Elite Four, here's the champion in the end, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm on board with this, don't get me wrong, but holy fuck. Oh, shit. Do I have to fight all seven of these fuckers? <laughs> this is going to be a seven-on-one battle, because, uh... This, this isn't the champion. <laughs> those in accord with fate are preserved, and those who rebel against fate perish. When the way is forgotten, duty and justice appear. One can lose the forest for the trees. See what I mean about them having old mottos? Just old pills of wisdom that they've dug up. This is all they fucking say. If you make a mistake and do not correct it, that is a second mistake. Superior men understand what is right. Inferior men understand what will sell. <coughs> there are not two sons in the sky, nor two sovereigns over the people. <laughs> Sorry, the West Country accent just... It's, it's just... It's just amazing. You can just bring it out at any point, and it's, it's always funny. Sorry. <laughs> Apologies to anyone who has that accent. But it is a very funny accent. Well, if anything should happen to our king, it would be disastrous. It would ruin Getsus's perfect plan. Our Lord N would be disappointed, but the six of us shall defeat you here. Can you manage that? Oh fuck, it's Clay! <laughs> Still crying, are you, Joe too? You, your drift fails. Hmm, angels me. Oh, they're all here. All the gym leaders are here. Almost all the gym leaders are here. Apparently the first gym leader got replaced by a little girl, but that's fine, I suppose. So sorry. Not only are we stronger than you with our level 15 metangs, but there are a lot of us. <laughs> Accursed gym leaders. Ignoring Team Plasma. That would be a terrible thing for us gym leaders to do. Bianca asked us to come too. Dot, dot, dot. I'm fine, don't worry. No need to worry. Order of the Lightstone, please proceed. Proceed this way? <laughs> okay. That way, I guess, then. Fair enough. Confirmed direction. I mean, thanks for coming to my rescue, various gym leaders. Honestly, you outnumber them, and apparently you're stronger than them, as you claim, so I don't know why you couldn't, like... Some of you couldn't come and help me out. What's the deal with this doorway? Some dudes hanging out here? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Stop and talk. Haha, <laughs> we Team Plasma were using the Pokémon we took from others all along. Aw, oh, poor widow Pokémon. They had to do what we told them. Okay. I mean, I kind of thought Team Plasma had the whole Peter agenda and then Getsis was, like, betraying them. He was, like, another level of... Like, he was... Um, lurking in the shadows to do his thing, sort of thing. Wanting to become the most powerful man in the world by using Team Plasma. But it seems like Team Plasma were just in on it as well and they're just all dicks. Who knew? Come... Oh, it's, it's these guys. In this castle, you may rest your Pokemon and access your PC. Fear not. First, you have your Pokemon rest in this room. When they are healed, it's our Lord N's wish that you be moved to the innermost part of the castle. <laughs> okay. If you're offering. If you're offering. Who the hell are you? Why do you have unique sprites? How did you get unique sprites? I am Concordia. I give peace and comfort to N. N has been separated from people since he was young. He was brought up with Pokemon. 
Pokemon that were betrayed, mistreated, and hurt by bad people. Getsis deliberately brought only those poor Pokemon closer to N. N was touched by their plight and started pursuing his ideals, thinking only of Pokemon. N's heart is pure and innocent, but there's nothing more beautiful and terrifying than innocence. That's kind of deep, honestly. This is a Pokemon game, you realize that, don't you? I'm Anthea. Trainer, before you go confront my Lord N, please take a moment to rest. Thanks. Ah, good. Both you and your Pokemon regained energy. Trainers battled to practice their skills and to grow in experience, but never to hurt their Pokemon. My Lord N has realized this deep down in his heart, but he has spent too much painful time here in this castle to admit it. Like, this dude's got backstory. So he, like, was cloistered away in this castle and sort of became... So it was sort of moulded by Getsis, I guess, to have these sort of ideals. He was moulded to be the king of Team Plasma. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. I don't know I don't know why I expected anything else at this point, but I just thought that just maybe an item that I get given after the Elite Four in preparation for the champion might be something that would actually potentially be slightly useful for that battle, but what a fucking fool I am, I guess. What a fucking idiot I am. <laughs> Um, can't surf here. Shame that there's a waterfall and we have the waterfall TM and we can't, like, combine those things in some very cool way. But, never mind. Moving on. Is this a... It is. Okay, cool. We're not going to use it, but it's good to know we got it. Hang on. Aha, uh -huh, now we can even infiltrate the Pokemon storage system inside every trainer's PC. If our king wills it, we can steal every Pokemon stored in a PC box and release them all. So what's this whole hearts and minds thing all about then? What's the, what's the deal with this whole hearts and minds business, winning people over, when they literally just have a, a kill switch? They can just press a button and make everyone release their Pokemon whether they like it or not. <laughs> Sorry, I, I keep like skipping through this text like I normally do and then I keep catching bits of it that's like, hey, that's actually kind of interesting. As part of his plan to take Pokemon away from the people, my lord and entrusted some Pokemon to me. I've been spending time with them and I don't think I want to let them go. I may not be cut out for Team Plasma. Look at the little, little like, introspection in NPCs in Pokemon. Like, I don't want to keep harping on about this, but most NPCs in Pokemon are like, Hey, did you know you can buy potions at the Pokemart? Like, having having them actually have, like, even just a regular grunt having, like, a character moment like that. This Pokemon has become attached to me, but as far as I'm concerned, a Pokemon is just a simple tool I don't understand. See, like, they've got, like, as I say, some degree of, like... Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate that. Okay. <laughs> thanks, I guess. Will you go to the Pokemon League? Sure. Oh wait, like... Huh. So I can just leave if I want now and like go grind some more. I know I'm still underleveled for the champions, so that's, very, that's a very tempting proposition, honestly. <coughs> There's the cough, I knew it was coming. Okay, I can just teleport back and forth as I please. Okay, um, I don't know. I guess I guess I've already committed to doing this, so it'll be a bit of a coward move to back out now. But it's nice to know that option exists. A battle between you and our Lord N is will reveal whether our Lord is an ideal here. Can't speak. I've got a cold. Leave me alone. It will also reveal how you feel about protecting the current world where people live with Pokemon. Okay. If you like. That room was the world that was provided to our Lord N. I don't feel anything, even when I go into that room. But you may feel something. See what I mean? <laughs> See what I mean about the characters in this game? Fucking ninja number three being like, I, I don't, I don't feel anything. Also, this is kind of sick, honestly. There's a set of trains and tracks. Has it been played with recently? Being played with now. Look at the train go. 
Wish I had this train set. Dope as hell. Ooh, an icicle plate. How exciting. <laughs> Box of toys. Art panel with geometric pattern. Also, you know, a half pipe. He didn't have a bed in his room, but he did have a half pipe, and that's that's the important thing. There's a skateboard. And a basketball the size of a human. <laughs> Looks like it's been used a lot. It says Harmonia on it. Look, he even named his basketball. Like, and obviously this is like an entirely unique tile set, completely unique assets. None of this has been... Actually, maybe the half pipe was used somewhere else, but aside from that, none of this was used anywhere else. Like, this is actually really cool. I did remember this game having a really strong narrative when I played through it, but I didn't remember all this. Like, as I say, it's been, what, 10, 12 years, however long it's been since this game came out. I have not completed it since then. I did not remember all this shit it gives you. Okay, I mean, that's might be useful if there's more than one battle left. Hmm. What were you two? Okay. I think he said something about um, basically answering my question about the whole hearts and minds thing. Like they were saying that people will people will rebel if we forcibly make them release their Pokemon. So even though we have that technology, we should try and do it by slightly more peaceable means. I guess that makes sense. I get the feeling this is going to be it through this door. Um, I mean, yeah, we've been leading with Deacon this whole time. I see no reason to change that. Oh, there he is. Is it really, is it really going to bait and switch me like this? Like it's been building up to a, a confrontation with N and then it's just, we're just going to fight Getsis instead. Like, because he killed N or something. That's the only way they could up the stakes anymore at this point. Welcome, Holder of the Lightstone. The castle that appeared as if it were enveloping the Pokemon League is a symbol. It means Unova will change. The king of this castle is the strongest trainer in the world. He's accompanied by the legendary Pokemon. He has defeated the champion. Added to all that, his heart burns with the desire to improve the world. If, that not, if that's not what makes a hero, what more do you need? Now the stage is set, we can seize people's minds and hearts. That's literally the terminology I just used, it's fucking crazy. We can bring into being the world that I... No, the Team Plasma desires more easily than you can imagine. We, and only we, will use Pokemon, and we shall rule the powerless populace. I've been waiting so long for this. I've kept my silence so that no one could piece together what I planned. Now these painful days are at an end. Go, onward, discover what, whether you have what it takes to be a hero. Really? We just... We just done? I'm really not fighting you? Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough, man. You insist. Oh, fuck. This is it, isn't it? This is it. This is the champion fight. What I desire is a world for Pokemon and Pokemon alone. I will separate Pokemon from people so Pokemon can regain their original power. It's time to settle this once and for all. My determination is absolute. I will prove the value of my beliefs even if it means my Pokemon friends get hurt. Since you've come this far, I believe you're equally determined. If that's so, prove it to me. Show me the depth of your determination. You think I'm not determined, mate? You think I'm not gonna keep walking forward? I ain't no coward. I ain't no bitch. Bitch. You came all this way to battle me, but Reshiram is not responding. You haven't even reckon been recognized as the hero, have you? How disappointing. I actually kind of liked you a little. Through our many battles, I got the feeling that you might be a trainer who truly cares for Pokemon. But I was kidding myself. The idea of trainers getting to know each other through battles is... ridiculous. You have two options. 
Challenge me to a fight you can't win, I'll leave this place and watch the birth of a new world where Pokemon are free of people. Zekrom, come to me. <laughs> Fuck it, how? <laughs> Guess we didn't need that wall anyway. It's alright, we've just revealed our big cool castle to the world. Um, I guess, I guess maybe we remodel it now. And hey, I guess, I guess maybe we can have another room over there or something. I mean, maybe build a balcony. Yeah, sure. Fair enough. I like your dragon though. I mean, they do a pretty good job of making them seem imposing because I mean, I, I do not give a shit. Like I, the the black and white legendary Zekrom and Reshiram, I want to say. I really don't like their designs at all, but they've done a very good job with this game in, like, upping the, the tension and the stakes through this whole castle segment to make this feel actually, like, properly climactic. It's been a good... They've done a really good job of it. The lightstone is trembling inside the bag. Uh-oh. Your lightstone is... I mean, Reshiram is... Yeah, I get fucked. Turns out I guess I have a legendary too? Turns out... I guess. Is it just like, I mean, I've already got six in my party. Is it just added or? The lightstone draws in the aura of the surroundings, converts it into a powerful force, which is now being released. Pretty cool, right? Look my never-ending story, dragon. <laughs> With a fucking reactor attached to its arse. <laughs> oh, it's a fire type. Don't have any of those. That will be pretty cool to have. <laughs> I knew the other one was dragon electric. I couldn't remember what type this one was. It's dragon fire, pretty sure. Which is pretty ideal for me. Zekram and Reshiram. It were once one life, one Pokemon, complete opposites yet the same. Zekrom and Reshiram are Pokemon that appear before the hero they recognize. Ha, huh, I see. You really are a hero too. I'll tell you what that Pokemon is saying to you. I want to battle- oh, fuck. I want to battle with you. Try to make me your friend and ally. It plans to test to see if you're really pursuing truth. I also am curious to see how powerful you are. Now catch Reshiram and make it your ally. Now not just fight you instead. Get ready, go after it. Guess not. Do I have to actually catch? Can I? I hope I can just kill this. Because even though I haven't had a catch in this area, obviously, so legally according to those rules, I can catch it. I think attempting to catch a... <laughs> Sorry, hold that thought for a second. <laughs> hold that thought for a second. Did I just randomize Reshiram into Zekrom? <laughs> I love the idea that I walked up, Reshiram appeared in front of me, and I was like, you know, actually, I think I want that one stood behind him instead. He's much cooler. <laughs> But yeah, I'm hoping I'm just going to be allowed to kill this because I really don't, like, obviously I wasted my Master Ball, which I see now was a pretty serious mistake. Um, but, like, attempting to catch this with Ultra Balls is probably going to be far riskier than it should be. I might hit this with a scary face, actually. Turns out we outspeed it anyway, but now all my Pokemon will outspeed it, so that's good. It's actually a pretty good lead, I think, because I'm pretty certain Deacon will resist basically anything this thing can do. Alright. Of course it missed. Of course it did. Why wouldn't it? Oh, fuck off, man. This is probably... Actually, no, I think I resist that, don't I? So it shouldn't hit. 
it hit pretty hard, turns out. Turns out it hit pretty hard. Okay, now we kind of have to catch this because we need a sick. Suddenly I'm in a position where I, I need a sick on my team. Oh, fuck off, man! The insane look that this legendary has had. Like, as if it isn't fucking powerful enough. New synthesis here, I think. I should probably... I don't know if I should leech seed it. Oh, and of course it just... Oh, fuck, it's got Zen Head, but... That's super scary. I don't... I mean, it's not a psychic type, so it might not one-shot Lavender with that. I don't think it will, in fact. Okay. I'm going to start throwing Pokeballs now, I think. I think I might be at risk of killing it if I Ice Beam again. I wonder if it's like one of those like scripted things where like y you just throw a ball and automatically capture it. I wonder if I overthought that and got Deacon killed for no reason. Because that was an instant catch. It didn't shake at all. I threw the ball and it got caught. If so, that sucks, because... Fucking Deacon, man. But... I mean... If we're going to lose Deacon, then replacing him with a Zekrom is... It's, pr it's pretty good. I hate to say the word upgrade, but... I think, in all fairness... The only thing we can call this. I hope that's spelt right. <laughs> Don't be transferred to the PC, I need him now! Yeah, please. Um, I will switch Deacon, the dead one, out. Hold on, your Pokémon are hurt. There's no triumph to be gained in battling a weakened opponent. Are you going to let me, like, use TMs and give a hold item to my newly caught Zekrom? No? We're just going to be straight in? Now, I will create the future I desire. I shall sweep you before me. Nope, we're just straight in. Okay, fuck me, I guess. Fuck me, I, I don't, I'm not allowed to set up my Pokémon for this battle. I hope it's not asleep. <laughs> Did say it healed it. Okay, a Magnazone lead. That's gross. Honestly. Um, what the fuck? What happened to the Zekrom? Did I fail? Did I fail to swap him? I'm sure I... I'm sure I pressed to swap him, right? What the fuck? Well, that sucks. Shit, what do I... I mean, I've already broken the Nuzlocke rules by sending Deacon in, but I guess my only argument I have here is that I essentially traded down because I would have had a Legendary here instead. So it's not like I'm making the game easier for myself by doing this. I'm, it's still, it, it's breaking the rules, I guess, but I guess we're going to concoct some hoodoo voodoo bullshit, um, a, a very cool narrative about catching Zekrom and infusing its essence into Deacon to bring him back from the dead for this final battle. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, yeah, that, that's what we're doing. Deacon gets to gets to live another day. How do we beat this Magnazone? I think Espio is probably a good shout, because he's got fire move and obviously resists resist lightning. Um, Deacon resists what this Magnazone can do, but I don't think he can hit it back is the problem. I'm a little bit wary of wasting Espio on this. Like, I send Espio in, he gets hit by something I don't suspect, and then we've basically lost him for an entire battle when he's potentially one of my strongest sweepers. We could go to Lavender, try and put it to sleep, and then go to Espio, but, I mean, there's still a chance of turn one wake up if we do that. 
I think we just go SBO. Oh. Well, I guess that changes everything. <sighs> that was a critical hit. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's screeching. This is... I mean, no, it probably doesn't have a great deal many physical moves, to be fair. So Screech might be a waste of a, an attack on it, to be fair. Let's see what Night Slash does. It's obviously also not very effective, but... We can at least angle for crits with that. I think we're probably going to lose Deacon to this thing. Which isn't the best way of starting a fight, obviously. But there's not really a lot of options. Why did that do so much fucking damage? What the fuck? This charge isn't a physical move. can heal here, but... Presumably he's just going to keep discharging now, right? And his discharge is doing more damage than my healing is. <sighs> this sucks. Well, Deacon, congratulations, you get to be the first Pokemon in this Nuzlocke to die twice. He's using Mirror Shock because he thinks he can get a kill with that and he's saving PP. That means if I can Morning Sun now... I can actually gain some health back. Or Magnet Bomb, I guess, which... Is that a physical move? Because I might just be fucked to that. No? Okay, still good. Still good. Okay, we survive a discharge from this HP. Oh, there's the paralysis. Okay. I should have just Night Slash when I had the chance, because now he's just going to outspeed me. Ten four, good buddy. Okay, on the plus side, we get a free swap into SBO. SBO out speeds. We hit it with a fiery dance. It dies. He doesn't get a chance to heal it, and hopefully, we get a special attack boost. Hopefully, if we could get a special attack boost here, it would be fucking magnifique. We didn't. Okay, interesting swap in. Ground Lightning, right? So we just Leaf Blade this. Electric will forever be Lightning in my head. There's no changing that. Okay, I see why it went for that now. Um, that's probably... Wait, we outspeed, don't we? So I can Shadow Force here to dodge the attack. Yeah! Fucking... Wrecked. It didn't kill it. That's fine, we just do the same again though, right? <laughs> Bit of a waste of PP, but... Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. We're not gonna have enough Shadow Force PP to kill it doing this. We got speed though, so... Free Leaf Blade. Static! Why does everything have static? Why is my entire team fated to just be paralyzed forever? Oh shit, okay, okay, fair enough. I mean, that's SBO basically out of action now, which sucks, but what we're we gonna do? Might have been smarter actually to just let. Oh, really? Actually fucking really? And then it hits me with the T-Bolt, which does a fuckload... It probably won't kill, but it'll do a fuckload of damage. Oh, no, I stand corrected. Okay. How bad has my luck been? Holy fuck. We're going to need Lavender to do a sweep here. Actually, though... I 
good choice, Joe. Didn't expect that to want. Oh, it created. Okay. Should have gone for the shell smash there. Should have set up a bit on this thing. Don't think it could have done more. Don't like that. Now we go for the shell smash. That's going to be super effective, which is going to fucking suck, but it won't kill. Yes, it will. I'm not thinking. I'm panicking here. I'm just fucking throwing at this point. Just throwing needlessly. Seriously, though. Actually, seriously. I'm going to swap into Lavender here, and I bet he gets paralyzed. I bet he just gets immediately paralyzed. They get free paralysis every time they breathe, and I can't hit a sleep powder. My god. My god, dude. What was that? And he crits as well. Probably would have survived that if it wasn't a crit. It's over. It's over, man. Lavender has our last chance there. Full paralysis, of course. Why would I expect anything else? There's the special attack boost, just in time. I could have played this fight better, I know, but I don't think I had a chance coming in. I think we're fated to lose from the start. The RNG gods were just against us here. This fiery dance won't kill, and he'll use a restore or something. No. No, I guess he'd rather just win. I guess that makes sense too. Well, it's been a, an honour and a privilege to have got this far. And this is how it ends. My journey set on anything but murder Just a single cell to me, but boy and I Watch this guy die A fucking green-haired e-boy with a piranha Killed my dreams Forced me to take two into a world of stronger teams This time I grabbed lavender than Aries on Route 1 Knew pretty quickly that the trendy twink was done New child, run a sandy through defensive wall to carry through Resistant to war damage, but not to my own bad moves Erased a face of replacement Embraced a thug bug with a jock rock shell Lost a couple more friends in a desert of dead ends And then everything was great until I underestimated my, my god. god. Stantless takedowns are like railroad spikes as horns bash them in. Titanic sunk again, but still not sunk like the wretched gym leader approximations who put up weak resistance to my party's machinations. Now I smell victory in the form of a dragon, a shelled bundle of promise and BST and aggro, buried in battles of spin. Wait, no, pardon, excuse me, may I? Oh, I'd like to attack these dragons hit back. So let's take a deep breath. Now let's take a breath. Now let's take, now let's. Ah, shit, well, I guess that about says it. Maybe I'll swap the pseudo for an oversized Clefairy, the anti version of me, so the weak should. Now be wary. And they've died a thousand deaths. And I apologize to you and yours for making decisions that were poor. I mean, I'm only one trainer, even when it's a no brainer. Sometimes the fates agree to split the sea and let them bleed. And they've died a thousand deaths. And I apologize to them and theirs for breaking down the hopes and their affairs. I mean, I'm only one trainer and one hell of a complainer. So if the AI is agreed, then it's decreed to let them bleed. You ever let an absol set up? I have. And lost the greatest bird girl as it survived on laughable amount of health. Know what? To ground 
Rats in a cloud would be useful substitutions if only they stuck around. Lost the mold to a bug, I lost the slug to a pear. Before painting the perfect argument for why pesticides are fair. Nimbus fell because I thought he could perhaps outspeed a plant until the fucking thing decided to press sucker punch for bounce. Lucky capture, got two more starters for measure around the cave. Now what? I guess we grind what we can find. I wanna naturally get to a level where I'm set to take on 50 something monsters of the Pokey League vets. Lack of most moves I need, but heroes don't hang up on envy and greed. So I strut up into a trouble clutch, then dance fancy forward. My deacon sweeping teams while the nuke gets full support him. My pristine team can and will employ destruction. The OG defensive cook and outpace all their production. I knew the league was on fire, but when the structure broke the ground, all I saw was green hair and thought, well, what goes around? Maybe I'll catch his legend in one ball. Maybe my team will give their fucking all and I'll come out on top. Maybe I won't. Maybe my luck will come and bite me Numb enough to die a thousand deaths to all who fight me And they've died a thousand deaths And I apologize to you and yours for making decisions that were poor I mean I'm only one trainer even when it's a no-brainer Sometimes the fates agree to split the sea and let them bleed And they've died a thousand deaths And I apologize to them and theirs for breaking down their hopes and their affairs I mean I'm only one trainer One hell of a complainer So if the AI is agreed then it's decreed to let them bleed And they've died a thousand deaths And I apologize to you and yours for making decisions that were poor, I mean I'm only one trainer even when it's a no-brainer Sometimes the fates agree to split the sea and let them bleed And they've died a thousand deaths and I apologize to them And theirs for breaking down their hopes and their affairs I mean I'm only one trainer and one hell of a complainer So if the AI is agreed then it's decreed to let them